As you know, Preschool in a Box is the one thing I wished I had when I started my preschool. It will help you get your preschool started quick and easy without wasting time or money doing the wrong things in the wrong order. Now, as a member of Preschool All-Stars, you can get your preschool in a box for 50% off. Here's a sample for you to enjoy. In today's sample of Preschool in a Box, you're gonna go behind the scenes of our meet and greet. A meet and greet is held one week before preschool starts with a local preschool, and all the parents and their students come to preschool for a pre-preschool day. Uh, the parents stay, but we do separate them, so we usually have two different classrooms, the preschoolers go in one classroom with the teacher and then all the parents go in a different classroom with a bunch of chairs set up uh, with me as the director and owner. So you're gonna see behind the scenes, what do I say to the parents? Um, how do I communicate all of my policies to them? Things like that. So hope you enjoy. Well, hi everyone. So we are going to get started. I'm Miss Joy. And of course you've already met Miss Jen, our director. Um, before we get started, let's go ahead and get those red envelopes. So if you can get those. Take that one. I'm going to go get mine. I left in the trunk. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Is that door locked? It opens open. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, are you still filling yours out? Yeah, I think I missed one thing that I wasn't sure what to write. But I think oh, okay. Sure no worries. All right, perfect. Good. Well, almost no tears downstairs. <laughs> so, perfect. Well, welcome to our meet and greet. Um, your, your friends downstairs are... Your kids downstairs are making friends, so upstairs we're gonna make friends also. Uh, let's go ahead and get started by telling us your name, your child's name, where you live in CUNA or the other areas. So where you live in the area, maybe the subdivision that you live in, uh, maybe you have a neighbor that you don't even know you do, and why you love, why you love us. So go ahead, you can start. Uh, my name's Sam, my daughter's name is Gentry. I live in Desert View Sub. What else? Uh, what you love about us. Oh, um, you guys are really positive, and I like the location. Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm Brenna, and my child is Charlie. Um, we live in Cuna. I think it's Prospect or Sub. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, and we just love the location. We toured a lot of different ones, but I love that I'm like four minutes away. <laughs> nice. And it's a positive atmosphere, so. Wonderful. Thank you for coming. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Chris Wallace and Smolak Emily. Okay. Um, we're currently in Meridian, but we're building a house here in Cuna off of uh, uh, Avalon and Ten Mile. And like, for me, I just love the, red, the little red schoolhouse. But, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but we like what we saw, and it's also in the, in the price range. So, and there's also an opening, too, so that worked, too. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All the factors worked out for you. Good. Perfect. Go ahead. I'm Stacy. This is my husband Justin. Um, we live. Our daughter's Violet. We live in Cuna in the Tomorrow subdivision over by the high school, and we chose Sunshine because it's location and it's really good views. Awesome. And you are on the wait list for morning, right? Actually, we decided not to. Perfect. It works better for our schedule. I was gonna say I just got an opening, so uh, you're good. Okay, perfect. Get the price. Thank you. What's that? If somebody else wants it. Yeah. <laughs> you think we're all good with the afternoon? Awesome. Perfect. Good. All right. Well, welcome. And did you say why you love us? Oh yeah, location and good reviews. Nice, thank you. I like to, that's more than just a daycare. Absolutely, strictly a private school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Wonderful, go ahead. Um, I'm Ann, and my son is James, and we live in Pal Palomar Heights. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, what I really liked about this school is the, I mean, I didn't know much about it when I called. My neighbor works here. Uh, Judy. Judy. This Judy, Ms. yes, Judy, sorry. Yes. I should know her name. Yeah. Um, and she told me she worked there, and I knew it was time, and so I went to the website, and it was just very vibrant and Aww. happy. And yes. then we came here and told the school, and I got a really good, positive vibe right off the bat. So, here we go. Perfect. Good. All right. Welcome. Thank you. And you go um, I'm Tiffany. Uh, I live over in Hawk's Nest. Um, subdivision, um, and I, uh, my daughter's Arabella, and I chose for her to go to school here because my oldest went to school here, and she, we had such a great experience with her through her toddler years and preschool years, so we, we had to come back when, uh, our, when my youngest was old enough to do it. Yay, good. And so what grade are you in now? Second. Second grade. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Very cool. Good, go ahead. Hey, I'm Nathisa. This is uh, my husband, Daniel. 
Our son is Jack. He's the one that's crying downstairs. <laughs> and he is our last one of our kids that has come in a sunshine. Our three other girls came um, every year for uh, their three and four year old. And uh, we just love sunshine because of the learning experience and the teachers and the admin. It's just great. Awesome. Yeah. And you're here earlier, so yeah, I was here earlier, so they've already heard everything that I had to say. Yeah. And well, you so. got to laugh at our jokes. Yeah, you know, we're going to repeat everything. <laughs> we're going to repeat them. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Good. Well, so glad that you're here today. Has anyone had a baby in the last year? Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Well, we have a little gift for you. There you go. Thank Special you. baby gift for the little one. And is anyone pregnant? No. Okay. Well, if you want this little cute onesie, you know what to do. <laughs> super cute. So, super excited for this school year. Your children will also get a t-shirt. So cute. And this is last year's design, so we always do a new design every year. And this is the new design that we're doing this year. I got that sunshine in my pocket. You know that song, right? Every kid knows that song from Trolls. Is that the one from that you tossed out at the parade? Ah, uh, no, no, we haven't made the new designs yet. Yeah, so we, they had a bunch of, of different designs. Oh, cool. Ones. Okay. Yeah, this is our new one for this year, so it hasn't even been printed yet. But your kid will bring it home on the first day of school. They'll all walk out with their little shirts on. It'll be so cute. And um, they can wear that shirt anytime they want. They can wear it to bed. They can wear it to school, especially to field trips, and also on our spirit day. And so Spirit Day is when they especially want to wear their t-shirt, and it's also when we do tuition. So you'll definitely want to be bringing this tuition payment back. As soon as you see all the little sunshines running around with their little t-shirts, you're, oh, whoops, that's in my car. <laughs> Grab your tuition packet. Um, you're going to get this at the end of every month. Inside will be things like newsletters and book orders and all sorts of goodies to read. Read it all through, and then make sure that you bring this back on the very first class day of every month with your tuition inside. So cash or check. And it needs to be handed directly to the teacher from an adult. So don't give it to your child. Don't put it in the backpack. Um, that's a surefire way for it to get lost. <laughs> so make sure it goes from adult to the teacher. And then also, we have some special goodies that we do at the end of the year. As you know, for some of our returning families, we do a huge graduation. It's held at the Performing Arts Center at the high school. And so it seats 800 people, and every year we pack it, standing room only. It's pretty crazy. Um, so in order to help us make that event free for your entire family, uh, we have these little end-of-year goodies. And so it helps to pay for the graduation. So we have our CD, which is super fun to borrow. We've got all of the graduation pictures. And then we also have our DVD of the whole year's events, field trips, activities, um, and of course the graduation programs on there as well. And then we also have an 8x10 class picture at the end of the year, so you can always remember their class, and a cap and gown, because how cute is that? <laughs> and that's my son. <laughs> so I'm a little preferred to him. Um, we also do a snack bucket every year. The snack bucket will only go home one time a year to you, but it's the best day of your kid's life because they get to read the snack helper for that year. Um, so what you do is you just fill it full of snacks for a three week period, a little bit more information is here. Uh, let's see, our class that we're doing is Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoon. So it's going to go home to you on a Friday. You're going to bring it back the following Monday full of snacks. Um, all the instructions and stuff are in our handbook and also on your snack bucket. Um, as far as allergies go, let's double check our allergy list. And I see zero food allergies. How'd you luck out that oh, one? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Change that there. Okay. Then, Miss Jen has put together an amazing parent committee. Uh, was there the parent committee when you were back here a couple years ago? Okay, so we used to have a parent committee. Miss Jen is bringing it back, and she's put together an entire year's worth of exciting activities. So they're going to meet here Tuesday, every second Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. at the school. And a couple things that we're going to be doing. The first one in September is going to be an ice cream social. So getting to know everybody, chatting about the activities that are coming up that year, and just having fun. October, we're going to be planning the trunk or treat, which is going to be on a Monday, the 30th. And then um, that trunk or treat is going to have a costume parade. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then in November, a coat and food drive. So a coat and food drive. How fun will that be? So we have a lot of Sunshine families. I think that together, we can collect a lot of food for the food bank. In December, we're going to have a parent's day out. 
So if you need to get your Christmas shopping done, uh, drop off your kiddos and for five hours, we'll watch your kiddos and have a ton of fun with them and you guys get to go get all your shopping done. Of course, there is an additional cost to that, but still super fun. In January, there's a Parents Creative Night Out. So Miss Jen is a huge Pinterest fan. <laughs> I don't get Pinterest, but she does and she loves it. And I'm sure there's many people out here that love Pinterest too. So if you have those activities where you're like, oh, I would love to make that craft or that idea, but you just don't have time, because who does? We have kids. <laughs> um, then come on out at that night, bring all your materials, and you can make it, and there'll be tons of food. So even if you're not a crafter, um, come along, and you can socialize and eat yummy treats. And then also in February, a kid's night out. So drop off your kids, because you need a date with your loved one, right? <laughs> Keep that loving going. So in... Also in March, we're gonna be doing a spring fever fun run or walk, okay, <laughs> run or walk. Who would go to that with your whole family? How fun, yes, I love that, that's awesome. So it's gonna be super fun because everything we do is super awesome. And in April, a teacher appreciation. So with the graduation, we like to kind of spoil our teachers. So we get them huge baskets, literally about this big. And uh, Letitia, I know, has helped with graduation every year, so she knows. And, uh, but it's our parents in our community that helps to fill those baskets. So we'll definitely need everyone's support there. And then finally in May, a parent committee appreciation to say thank you for all the help that you've done over the year. So please, everyone join Jen's parent committee. It's gonna be amazing, super fun. So ice cream social in September. And that one is going to be handed out. She's going to give you papers on all that. Just go ahead and collect all the papers that we give you. Perfect. And then you will get a new paper for whenever the communication paper comes. Because I know okay. you're here earlier, but you yep. get a second communication paper. Also, let's pass out the handbooks. So everyone's getting a new handbook this year. Even if you've been here before, it's changed. So you definitely, nope, not you. Okay, I was home. Over here this morning. <laughs> it hasn't changed this morning. <laughs> but I was like, that changes to stay too many. <laughs> Um, everyone else, let's get that handbook going around. And the handbook is only three pages long, but it's got every question you could probably ever imagine. I'm not going to go through it, that'd take too long, but you definitely need to read through it before the first day of school. Okay? Perfect. Then, after that, let's talk about our calendar. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the calendar to come around. And if you need multiple calendars, like if you have another person dropping off and picking up that also needs that schedule, be sure to take an extra copy. Jabbers. 
And so if you haven't been, it's a huge kid play place. We reserve the entire facility for our Sunshine families. Come on out in December, and we have Santa Claus that comes to visit us. And we get pictures of Santa. So pretty cool that Santa gets to come, huh? <laughs> and then we have our Christmas party in class and Christmas break. In Jan, you can flip over your calendar now. We're in January. And in January, no school for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then there's also another community field trip. So where is Miss Jeannie's class going for that field trip? Look at your calendar. Where is she going? Dillos and store. the grocery store. Very good. So we're going to Ridley's. It's so cool. It's like one of the best field trips for a little hungry child. <laughs> so bring them on three because they go to the bakery, they go to the produce, they go to the meat department. They get loaded up with a ton of food and then they get to eat along the way. So lots of fun. And then in February, our Valentine's party in class. And of course, we've got our conferences and then no school for President's Day. March, we're doing the fun run. So fun. And then we also have registration. So this is when you're going to re-register for pre-K, all right? Also for summer camp. Summer camp's the best. It's two months long, same cost as preschool, and it keeps that learning going all year long. After that, we've got our kindergarten info night, which doesn't really apply to you unless you have a four-year-old with us, which, mm, yep, very good, we do with Liliana. And then we have spring break. In April, we have our Easter party, and we have another field trip we're going on. Where are we going with Miss Jeannie? Cabela's. Okay, dads, who's excited? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's okay if you're excited about it too. We actually get a ton of dads um, on the field trip and grandpas too. So that is a really fun field trip. They get to see all the animals and then we get fudge at the end. So come on, it's super cool. Wasn't that amazing? Oh, sorry I had to cut it off early, but I hope that you've enjoyed this sample training. If you want the rest of the training and you'd also like to get 50% off your preschool in a box, then I invite you to join Preschool All-Stars. Hey, have you heard about Preschool in a Box? It's literally the one thing I wished I had when I started my preschool 10 years ago. It would have saved me so much time and so much money. Instead, I did the wrong things at the wrong time. Waste of time, I tell you. I can't wait to tell you all about Preschool in a Box. All the things I wish I had, like curriculum. Oh my gosh, can I even tell you how many hours I spent every single night on Pinterest and Facebook groups and the blogs and Google trying to find activities to do for lessons the next day? Or forms, what the heck was I supposed to give to my preschool families? What was I supposed to include in a policies and procedures handbook? Or marketing, how was I supposed to sign up kids? I had a preschool to fill and I had money that I needed at the end of the month, but how was I going to get that tuition, right? All of those components are inside of Preschool in a Box and a whole lot more. I want to get you Preschool in a Box. I've got an exclusive opportunity for you. When you join our Preschool All-Stars membership, not only will you be surrounded by myself and hundreds of preschool owners cheering you on during your journey, you get an exclusive discount on Preschool in a Box. I'm talking out of this world. When people see it, they kind of lose their mind. They're so excited, ready to grab it right away. I can't wait to get your exclusive discount on Preschool in a Box. Just join preschool all-stars click the link in the description or go to preschoolallstars.com it's gonna be like christmas